Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bad Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on the channel is time for all collectors and not children. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Mezco Toys Rumble Society Comic Con slash Mezcon 2023 exclusive Void Wars Void Cadet. Gomez. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out and thank you to channel sponsor Entertainment Earth. Check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures and help support the channel. Jumping right on into this review, guys. Yes, today we are taking a look at the brand new Mezco Toys Rumble Society Gomez. And this time, They've gone the Star Wars slash 1950s B sci-fi movie route with Void Wars, Void Cadet Gomez. Now, this is the version without the mech suit, guys. So the mech suit was a MezcoToys.com exclusive. This itself was available at Comic-Con as an exclusive. So shout out and thank you to my friend Robert who went to Comic-Con and actually brought this back for me because I did not go and was not aware that this guy would actually be available. So as everybody has already said, this guy definitely gives us some really hard Mork vibes. If you don't know who Mork is, he is a alien character that Robin Williams played back in, I believe, the late 70s. And uh, he essentially dressed like this. He had a very similar get up to this and he was an alien. Uh, oddly enough, he kind of started off in happy days uh you know and then eventually spun off into his own tv show and whatnot but yeah everybody's already made that you know uh connection to this guy but obviously there's also the star wars connection with void wars and for obvious reasons some of the other accessories point to it as well but if you look at the packaging as well you will see and get a somewhat um b movie sci-fi 1950s kind of cartoon from it too um that's what i get from it it looks like a it looks kind of like concept art for star wars you know very uh sci-fi very uh like i said b movie b sci-fi movie uh and i really i really dig it i really do i'll be honest guys when they first showed this guy off i wasn't the biggest fan of it um but i was a big fan of that mech suit but for the price of 377 dollars um i had to just say pass and so i went ahead and passed on it but uh when i saw that he was available at comic-con i did kind of just say fuck it and jump in on it and i'm super glad that i did because now that i have him in hand i am super blown away by this guy in fact so blown away that i went and jumped on the wait list for the mech suit so i may have two of these guys at one point i'm hoping that someone parts it off on offer up uh before my wait list comes through because then that should save me quite significant amount of money um but if not i'd be happy to have two of these guys because he comes with quite a few different looks that you know they can stand out from each other and be two separate types of gomeses despite them being both void cadet gomeses so with that being said guys why don't we go ahead and take a look at all the amazing great stuff that he does come with and with him being a mezco and with him being a rumble society mezco you know he comes with quite a lot so kicking things off let's go ahead and take a look at the alternate head sculpt that he does come with so in package he does come with this neutral head sculpt that he does have on right there as you can see it's neutral he's focused he's ready for battle but he also has this really angry really ready to fuck shit up face right here so this is another cool one obviously as we know with all gomez's his antennas are uh, articulate so they are on a ball joint so you can rotate them and position them twist them turn them put them any which way you want uh, the mandibles are not they are fixed so be careful with those those can break if you do happen to drop them this way uh, so do be careful with that but there's just something about gomez that just honestly something just about his face and his anatomy just provides such great expressions in his head so why don't we go ahead and take a look at all the extra hands that he does come with so in package he does come with a pair of uh closed fisted hands as you can see he does also come with a pair of 
closed sea grip hands right here and these are all done in white i believe this is the first time we've gotten uh, gomez hands done in white and as you can see they do have like this super shiny sheen to them uh, as if he has like leather gloves so that's super cool so we have a pair of closed sea grip hands right there we do get a pair of open action hands right here so they can actually be relaxed hands or they could be action hands whatever you really want to do with them however you position them will determine that we do also get a pair of left and right trigger finger hands now these are the smaller closed ones we do also get a single uh, right-handed larger one we'll take a look at that in a second uh, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the karate chopping hands or the salute hand uh, whichever one you want to use it for but yeah we do get a pair a right and a left for uh, this hand right here next up we do get I guess these would be more of like the kung fu hands where it's kind of like ha and pointing and stuff like that uh, so these came side by side so that's why I kind of put them together even though they're kind of just unique hands for either hand you can use them together you don't have to but they do look good together now moving on to the unique hands meaning they don't come in pairs but you do get a single one for these running off the left hands first we do get a wide open c grip hand to kind of hold on to larger weapons and whatnot we do also get the two finger salute hand for the left hand right here we do also get that classic rumble society and mezco middle finger hand right here for the left hand and last but not least we do get a large open c grip hand for the left hand right here now taking a look at the unique right hands we do get two of them the first one being a larger uh, trigger finger hand so if you want to use a larger weapon with this Gomez you would use this hand and we do get a pointing finger right here for his right hand so that is all the extra hands that he does come with but as you can tell he's got plenty of options and so besides having plenty of options for hands he also has plenty of options for looks so currently he does have on his base space cadet jumpsuit so there's nothing too fancy he has a utility belt but it's essentially just a jumpsuit kind of reminiscent of star trek and uh, like i said mork from the vork or i believe that's where he's from but like i said he does come with a few different types of looks so if you want to go with that classic astronaut look they do provide us with this bubble helmet right here which is super cool uh, it does come with a separate neck piece that you do to remove the head first put the neck piece and then you put the head on and then with this it would go this way right here but the helmet itself actually splits in half right here and we're gonna go ahead and use this extra head right here so we're gonna go ahead and this larger bubble on this side actually goes in the front you would think it'd go in the back but it goes in the front so that his mandibles can fit right in there and then we're gonna go ahead and grab the other piece and attach it right here so we do get this bubble helmet and like i said we do have this separate neck piece that we put underneath uh, you put it on before you put the head on and then you put the helmet on and then you have this really cool uh, bubble space look right there uh, so aside from that we do also get a separate mask in the form of this one right here and it's the one that you do see on the box right there and it does also come with this breathing tube which does also attach to a separate piece which we will take a look at in a sec first i do want to show you how to put the mask on because um, the mandibles do go right there through the hole so you want to be careful not to push too hard and to jam them through because then you can once again snap them but as you can see, they do fit through right there. And once it's on, it has a really cool look to it. Um, so like I said, it does have that breathing tube on it right there. And so that actually does connect to, like I said, another piece. And so this is his armor plate. So you do take the head off, slip it on, put the head back on, and then attach the pieces right here. However, as you can see, there is this opening right here and that's exactly where the breathing tube connects as you can see and it is pliable so it can come around and so that way he can have that on his back and the mask can be on his face obviously that will limit the articulation when turning his head uh, but it is quite long so it's not too limited on articulation so he does have a bit of a small little hover jetpack right here on his back but 
if that's not enough power he does come with this larger one which does attach magnetically right here which is super awesome because when you have to fidget with clips and stuff it's just a hassle magnets just make things so much better he does of course come with a blaster and so uh, he does come with this holster that which does clip onto his belt if you like to so his blaster does fit into it right there so why don't we go ahead and move on into the weapon so like all gomez says he does come with a pea shooter and this one does of course come in the form of a ray gun so that is super cool uh the amount of paint detailing that they put into this thing is just absolutely amazing i have to say it's one of my favorite weapons that we've gone from mezco and the really cool thing about this is that they went above and beyond and included some unique effects for the ray gun which kind of make it seem like um it doesn't just shoot one form of ammunition because we do get this typical green ray gun effect right here which is really cool don't get me wrong but they do also include this sort of like electricity static kind of ray right here in this clear translucent blue which is really nicely done the only thing about these longer effects is that it does tend to weigh down the gun and his hand in general so it will tend to bend down this way if you're trying to pose it for too long of a period he will hold it up uh, for a bit of time but after a while uh, the hand and even the effect starts to kind of just bend downwards because it doesn't plug in all the way and so you have this little bit sticking out right here and it just it kind of it's really flimsy it looks like it's going to snap off but you do also get this really cool ray gun effect right here uh, it's just super cool to have it's just a really cool effect i just wish they would have uh, made the hole in the gun a little deeper uh along with effects uh let's go back to the jetpack real quick because what good is a jetpack if you can't use it right so they do also include uh you know little throttle effects for the jetpack right here which do plug in nicely right here uh, these ones do plug in a lot better and they are done in this nice translucent orange plastic so it looks really nice um, and so yeah the last thing that we are going to be going ahead and taking a look at is his laser sword so this is a laser sword as well as boom boom guys yes boom boom makes another appearance here of course it is gomez's sidekick along with grub now this is a very different and unique version of boom boom that we've ever gone before um and it's pretty reminiscent of r2d2 right guys those colors i mean he even has a little red and black up there on the buns and everything um but this is how he kind of utilizes his energy sword his laser sword um because it's connected to boom boom and boom boom supplies it all the energy so the blade is removable so you can have it with or without the blade and it does have a light up function so uh, you do pull out this bottom piece right here and you can go ahead and put batteries in right there which are of course included and then the switch right here you just flip it up you can flip it up and down when it's in there because they do also include this little mezco tool which does of course have like the little mezco logo right there which is super cool um but it does also light up the sword so let me go ahead and turn off this light so you can see it a bit it's not too bright right now because of all the studio lights and everything but then to turn it off you just use this little hook and just hook it off right there so that is all the great accessories that he does come with besides of course the final one being the base so he does of course come with that classic mezco flight stand right here the best flight stand and bases in my opinion out there out of any toy company they do sell basic black bases but all their figures do come with unique bases uh, specifically made for them and this one has to be one of the coolest in my opinion because it just screams vintage comics to me vintage 1950s comic artwork and it is just beautiful i actually have this displayed in my room just as an art piece and last but not least we do of course get the accessory baggie if you do want to get rid of the box but i mean i mean guys the box is so amazing i'm not even one to crush or gush over uh packaging but i absolutely love the artwork on this box i mean look at the front and now look at the back i mean come on that is some amazing artwork right there 
Um, now I do keep all my Mezco boxes, but this one, uh, I kind of want to cut up and display on my walls, but I'm not gonna because it's really cool. Um, but anyways, guys, that wraps it up for all the great stuff that he does come with. So why don't we go ahead and take him off the rotating turntable so we can take a look at the articulation and all the great amazing detail this guy has. All right, guys, so here we have them up close to the camera so we can take a look at all the amazing great detail first before we go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation. So as always, it is a Gomez. So we do have that amazing Mezco Roach head sculpt right here with so much amazing great expression, turning it down, turning it up, turning it side to side, however you do it really like even right there, like, hmm. Ho ha ho he ha ho ha. So that's the great thing about Gomez, guys. He has so much expression, even in just his neutral head. So once again, the mandibles are articulated. So that's really cool. The jumpsuit is just amazing because not only does he look great in it, but it's tailored to where it's fitted, but also loose enough to where we can get some amazing poses. It doesn't really hinder the articulation. Uh, it's just a basic all red jumpsuit with this V right here for the void. Uh, like I said, he does come with this belt right here, which is his utility belt. Now, the one gripe that I will say with this figure is that his belt does come off really easy, especially when you do have the holster and the laser sword and boom boom on there. Um, but other than that, I really have no complaints with this figure. I mean, just putting him here in this position, you know, making him look like he's at attention. Uh, the suit has these little stripes right here. Just amazing work as always by Mezco. Taking a look at his boots, they are all white and everything. Uh, some stripes right here at the wrist and on the back, not too much else. So yeah, not too much to look at in terms of the costume here. But like I said, you do get all those great pieces of armor and helmets and face masks uh, to really amp this guy up. So you can turn him from here into, uh, well, you know, here. So super cool, super awesome. But with that being said, why don't we go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation. So he will look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He will actually go 360 right there. He has a major head tilt because he does have a ball joint right here at the bottom of his head as well as at the neck. So he gets a lot of great movement and range of motion right there. Taking a look at his arms, he will go past a T-pose right there. His arms will go forward a decent amount considering that he's you know wearing soft goods clothing uh, they will go back that far he does come with a butterfly joint but it's very very stiff but it is there uh, he does come with bicep swivel double hinge elbow joints uh, rotation at the wrist hinging up and down in and out whichever way that ball peg is facing did I say bicep swivel because yeah he has that he does have ab crunch and he will crunch down that far he will crunch back that far he has decent swivel at the hips right there he will kick out that far he will kick forward that far he does come with some thigh swivel up top right there double hinge knees which allow him to kick back that far he does have boot swivel as well at the top right there his ankles will go down that far up that far and of course a ball rocker hinge so that wraps it up for this guys articulation all right guys so that has been my review of the mezco toys rumble society comic con slash mezcon 2023 exclusive void wars void cadet gomez let me know down in the comments below what did you think of this figure i absolutely love this guy like i said not only did i first pass on him because of the price of him and the mech suit but I also just really wasn't feeling this guy. But now that I have him in hand, I am super happy and glad that I went ahead and picked him up. And hopefully someone is going to be parting out the mech suit so I can pick it up for a decent price. Or if not, that my waitlist converts and I get another Void Cadet Gomez as well as the mech suit. With that being said guys, if you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed it, please type down in the comments below Void Wars. That way I know you guys enjoyed the video. With that being said guys, once again, shout out to the channel sponsor Entertainment Earth. Check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures and help support the channel. And as always, have a great fucking day. Thank <laughs> you.